Are you getting frustrated with your PC? Is it running super slow? Does it feel like you're on an old dinosaur style computer? Well, in this video, I'm going to take you through and show you a few things that just might get the life back out of your computer. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go into uh, Windows Update. So just come in here and you just search for Windows Update. Obviously, I do my update, so it's right here. Uh, you're going to go to Advance. And then you're going to make sure that you receive updates from other the Microsoft products because you have more than just Microsoft running in your system. You got different drivers for different um, different components within your computer. So just make sure this is checked and then of course you know check for updates. This is going to be the very first thing. You need to make sure this is up to date. Now at the end of this video I, I know that a lot of people talk about Chris Titus tool. Chris Titus is very smart but we will run a Chris Titus tool to make sure there's any um, apps like say you don't want Microsoft Edge or OneDrive any of that on your PC we will run uh, the Chris Titus tool at the very end but we're gonna do this first so again no updates I'm all up to date the first thing you want to do is you want to come down to search and you want to type in s y s d m dot c p l and hit enter and now it's going to bring up this screen right here. So in here, uh, you can change your computer name or whatnot if you want. You got your hardware, you got advanced system protocol remote. We're going to worry about the advanced. So the first one we're going to do is we're going to go to um, performance. So in this one right here, we want it's it's already going to be set to let Windows choose what's best for your computer, but we want best performance. But now to get the best performance some of these do actually need to be checked the first one that needs to be checked is animate windows when minimizing and maximizing because remember we're trying to get the smoothest smoothest transition next one's going to be is show thumbnails instead of icons we of course we want thumbnails we don't just want icons and then we want to enable smooth edges and then all you got to do is hit apply Give it just a little bit to take effect. So now that it's taken effect, if we come here and I try to move a box, see how the box is there. So now if I go ahead and I put it back to let Windows choose, I'm going to go ahead and hit apply. Just show you real quick what it actually does. A lot of people that do these videos, they don't show you what it actually does or explain certain things. This is just going to stop. So you got to figure all this in the background of this window is your computer has to process it all. So it's processing this whole window right here. And if you see every time I move it, you know, it's coming with me. But now if I do my custom best performance, and then of course, like I said, animate windows when minimizing, and maximizing uh, thumbnails. And then of course we got to smooth the edges. And then of course hit apply again. Give it just a sec. And again, now we don't have all that extra animation going on no matter what, what, uh, what we're doing on the screen. So, which I also like this too, because if you're moving around files on your desktop, you know, and as you're moving it, you can see what else is behind it too. That's, it's also really nice, but you want to make sure everything's smooth and, you know, smooth sailing. I mean, this right here is one of the best things that you can do that literally, especially an old laptop, that can really speed it up. And of course, in the same section, we're going to go ahead and set up our uh, virtual memory or virtual RAM. So what you're going to do is you're going to click on settings, you're going to go to advanced, and then we're going to change this. So right now, it's set to automatic manage page file size for all drives. So we're actually, we're going to do a custom and so how you do this is, let me pull up my calculator. You need to have a calculator, or you can do this on your phone calculator, whichever one. So you take your RAM. So for me, for instance, I have 32 gigs of RAM. So 32. And for one gig equals 1,024 megabytes. So what you can do is you're going to times that by 1,024. So that gives me how much megabytes of RAM I have. Even though I have 32 gigs, it's actually 32,768 megabytes. Now I'm going to times this by 1.5. 
Now that gives me where my my custom for my initial. So my initial is going to be 49, 152. Okay. So now to get the the maximum. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to clear. We're going to do the same thing. So I got 32 gigs of RAM times 1024 gives me this number here. But now we're going to times it by three. Times it by three. Now this is my max. So this is allowance on the hard drive that the computer will allow the hard drive to have basically fake RAM. The computer thinks that it's there, so it will use this much of your hard drive before it actually uses your RAM itself from your 32, 64, 8 gigs, 4 gigs, so on and so on. So again, if you have 4 gigs uh, in your PC, so you're going to hit 4 times 1024 equals and then this is your number but then you're going to times it by or this is your megabytes you got four gigs which is 4096 you're going to times that by 1.5 and that's going to be your starting and then of course if we clear it and we do four gigs times two four gives me this times three then that would be your starting point or your max maximum megabytes allowed on your hard drive so the next one is for your startup of your pc you know when you hit that power button it might take you 20 seconds 30 seconds a minute sometimes two or three minutes depending on how slow your computer really is so a lot of that is to do with applications starting up in the beginning so come here uh, go to search and just type in startup and as soon as you start typing it here's your startup apps so here's all the startup apps. Man, I have a couple extra I don't need to have in here. So you come in here and you choose which ones need to start up. I'm going to tell you right now, a lot of people that I know that game, they have Steam and um, Epic and all these game launchers that start. You don't need them things to start. So me, I need my uh, audio software, which is right here, my GG. I need it to start. PC Manager does not need to start. Mobile PCs does not need to start. Uh, MSI, I do have that start. That, that controls my fans and my fan curbs. Uh, this is also my audio for my microphone. And then uh, Elgato right here. Uh, that controls the audio. But this is for my uh, Steam Deck. So I will leave those there. So you just come in here and check these. But... I'm going to show you another program that's going to be pretty easy to do some of these steps because you can come in here and you can undo some of these um, programs, but they don't start up. But I can run Microsoft's PC Manager, which is what we're going to go into next, and they'll still show them. But real quick before I show you that, look, if I didn't uncheck this, look at all this right here. All this would be running on my PC right now if I didn't have that unchecked. Oh, and another thing with your updates, if you're one like me and you do run um, Microsoft uh, Store, you need to be coming into the store and you need to be coming down to your downloads and you need to be make sure that everything here is also up to date because this also can slow down your PC. So you come in here, you hit get updates and it has everything in here. Some people don't like the Microsoft Store, some people do. I, I do, there's certain programs that I use that is um, beneficial for my PC and the things that I do. So update all, so like right there, Microsoft Photos. So all depends on what you do with your PC, but you just need to make sure everything is up to date that I cannot stress enough. So on to PC Manager. So I already have it here. So right now I'm using 39% of my memory. I wish I could actually make this a little bigger. I mean, on your side, it's gonna be bigger. I'm gonna zoom it in, but uh, on the desktop, it's it's very small, very, uh, sometimes hard to read. But anyways, you can come in here, you can boost your, your RAM, just like uh, some of these programs on your cell phones that you can boost. I like that, drop me down to 28 percent anyways you can come here to uh what is it apps so startup apps so you can come in here and make sure so like wondershare it was not in the startup apps whenever i searched it in the computer and then there's the steam deck now it shows it differently so 
Uh, and of course, this is another Steam Deck right here too. If uh, y'all aren't subscribed, this is the Five Five Fine came out with a uh, Steam Deck style. I will be doing a review on that here in about a week. I'm gonna play around with it first and see how how much what's the major differences between the Five Fine and the uh, Elgato. Anyways, you can come in here. There's so much stuff you can come in here. You can do disc cleanups and everything else. And these things right here need to be ran at least once a week, your, your, your cleanups. But again, I'll get into the Chris Titus tool at the end. So another one that's not as you know important as like the visual effects, but it's another one. We can go to system, go to personalization, go to color, and you want to make sure that your transparency effects is off. I don't know if y'all can see that on my screen, if I leave it on, the color's a little different here. If you turn it off, it takes that uh, them effects away. Any of those effects is taken away from your CPU and taken away from your GPU. And anything that's, especially your GPU, if you're a gamer, is taken away from, you know, your frames per second and your performance of your actual graphics card. And depending on, you know, if you have a you know, 3060, 2060, 2080, you know, you with inflation and the prices that NVIDIA and all these cards are doing, every bit of performance matters. But yeah, so make sure you turn your transparency off. And since I just talked a little bit about gaming and this isn't just for gamers, um, go to settings, go to system, go to display. One big thing that a lot of people uh, don't realize is whenever they hook things up, not all the time does your computer see the refresh rate that it needs to be. So you're gonna click on here and whatever monitor that you're doing. So I'm gonna actually do this. This is my secondary. This is just my little bitty uh, display with uh, my temperatures and everything else. This little bitty seven inch screen over here. These are my 232. So, uh, which there again, you wanna do them on, on both, but I'll go to my main, go to advance. Make sure you're at your highest frame. You need to make sure that you're literally at your highest frame. That's gonna give you that buttery smooth feel where it, it's not lagging or, or jerking around when you're moving your mouse and stuff. That and you get to see everything about your, your monitor here as well. So, you know, 4K, 240 hertz, 10 bit, uh, HDR, HDR 400 certified, and what brightness the Windows is telling me that I'm getting right now, which is only 460 nits, which if you've seen anything or any of my other videos, I have this Alienware is kind of trash. I don't like it, but that's just me. Where, look at this, I can come to my LG and it's 12 bit, 1,015 nits, so much brighter, but it's only capped out at 144 frames. But yeah, you need to come in here and make sure that that's on. Also, while you're in here with the uh, display settings, you can come to graphic, you can make sure like me i have auto hd uh hdr on i like my hdr come down here hardware accelerator and variable refresh rate so uh you can turn these on play around with these if you're a gamer play around with these but this next one is kind of a little controversy some people say use it some people say don't i kind of see a little bit of a difference between uh file transfers and stuff within my system anyway so when you come in you just you go to settings go to system and then you come down here to uh, uh storage make sure your storage sense is off i mean you need to have this off so you don't want extra things running in the background that's it, more things that run in the background and i'm not going to do a disable services and stuff like that on on in a video certain things I believe need to be left alone uh, if you feel the need that you need to disable some services in the background there's plenty of videos out there you can go ahead and watch those but you can do more harm than good when you start messing with some of that stuff and some of it even going in, into safe mode is unrecoverable so but no just make sure um, that storage sense is off see I already I keep myself so clean look at that I have zero <laughs> zero bytes of my temporary files and i haven't even cleaned it um but yeah that's that's another one you can do what else we have in here oh privacy and security this is going to be another one that you do not want all these things running in the background again come in each one of these all these actually need to be unchecked 
I'm slacking here. So, uh, actually, I do put mine on enhanced for file uh, searching files within my, my PC. So, I like to have it as quick as possible to get to my files or what I want, you know, what I'm looking for. Uh, if you're on a laptop, I would not suggest doing this unless your laptop is a stationary and uh, it's plugged in at all times. It will consume more energy. All right, so down to my last two. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna type in Hitman Pro. You're gonna come here and you're just gonna download just the free download. You don't need to buy this, just hit the free download. Once you download it, it's gonna pop up in your download file folder, of course. And then I'm going to run the Hitman. So right here, you need to either buy settings or next. So we're just gonna hit next. It's gonna be right here create a copy of Hitman. We don't need to do all that. Just hit no, I wanna run this for my first time. This is actually for malware and stuff. This is really, really good. It, it will find it and it's free because you're only running it for a one-time use. So, and it will keep finding these tracking cookies all the time. Every time you have Google open, it'll keep finding it. So, if you run this, you know, once a week or so on your PC, don't delete it just for one time use, but just let it go through, let it search. It does not take long whatsoever. Uh, antiviruses and most of this stuff, man, it slows your PC down, but yet it makes us vulnerable. So we're kind of, you know, stuck between a rock and a hard spot. You know, it's like as you're walking on some rocks and your foot gets stuck in there and you're trying to get it out, it's like, okay, my shoe's going to come off, but you, you know, it's what, what do you do? So, and it, it sees certain things. So, like, it's seen the uh, GOG Galaxy, which is a game. It's seen it, it's, but uh, it's ignoring it. Hit next. Hit next. Look at that. So, eight, eight uh, threats detected. How many files it scanned? Total scan time is 47 seconds. Hit close. We're done. You can read here. If, you, if you're new to Chris Titus Tool, you can come in here and um, read through here if you want. I'm going to go ahead and close it down. Now we're going to go ahead and run PowerShell. And we want to right click and run as administrator. Once you run it as administrator, now it's here. Now you're going to hit Control V for copying that Chris Titus tool. You're going to just hit enter. Again, watch what you do in these. And there's so many people that they'll come in here and they'll just do a bunch of different stuff and actually mess up their, their PC. It, it's not worth worth it. You can come to tweaks. So you can create a restore point. Again, I probably should have started with that. You should probably start with, uh, with creating a restore point before you do any of these. That way you have something to always fall back on. So delete temporary files. So you can sit here and you can disable and do whatever you want to do. So I'm just going to, yeah, hibernation I don't want, home group I don't want. So we're just coming here. I just let's do a couple of them. Okay, so I want dark theme always on. Bing, I want off. I don't. I can't stand Bing. I want my number locks. Snap windows. Uh, mouse acceleration. So you just come in here and you do it, and then you can disable so many things. You can install things from here. So now they're finished. So now we can do. You can come in here and what else we got? Because we can uninstall, okay, right here. So remove Microsoft Edge. I do not want this and I want to remove OneDrive. So we're going to run it again. Uh, if you're getting a lot of blue screens of death, this one right here, a detailed blue screen of death. So you check this right here. So anytime you get a blue screen of death, it will um, give you a detailed reasoning of why or what was going on with your system, which is really, really nice. All right, so those tweaks are finished. It removed everything. Here's everything that I have commanded it to do, to disable and to delete. Here, I always, even though you don't have to, I just type in exit and it exits it out. All right, well, I'm Thomas with Tomology. Thank you for watching. Hopefully you got some insight on this. Hopefully this can help you get your computer uh, with a little bit more um, balls to it, I guess, in a sense. Give, give it a little bit more umph. Anyways. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.